ARCHICAD NOE supports the IFC4 Reference Model View export in a certified way, as defined and required by Building Smart. ARCHICAD has passed all Building Smart IFC4 certifications available so far. Implementing IFC4 support meant that the IFC add-on of ARCHICAD 23 or later versions works only with IFC4 terms and concepts, and these are reflected in all relevant IFC dialogues as well. This includes a few changes to the IFC Project Manager dialog. The IFC entity structure displayed in the dialog is based on the IFC4 schema, while previous ARCHICAD versions were based on the IFC 2x3 schema. Straight and curved vertical walls no longer export as IFC wall standard case IFC entities, as required by IFC4. Instead, they export as IFC wall IFC entities. The IFC Project Manager dialog also shows this correctly. Additionally, IFC Building Systems and IFC Distribution Systems are available in the lower left area of the dialog as groups as required by IFC4. New groups may be created under them and elements may be moved into groups. Many changes required for meeting IFC4 concern geometry conversion during IFC4 export. Thus, the geometry conversion for IFC export dialog has seen changes. Some of these changes happened under the hood, while some of them are ones that appear on the user interface. The dialog has been reorganized. The grouping of settings became more logical. The triangulate surfaces of BREPS checkbox has been removed. This checkbox was originally implemented for IFC4, but it is no longer required anymore in IFC4 reference view. The Explode Composite and Complex Profile Elements into Parts checkbox was moved to the bottom of the panel under the Composite Structures and Complex Profiles group and was renamed to Split Complex Building Elements into Parts checkbox. Plus, it offers the IFC Building Element hierarchy so we can specify which IFC entity types to split. The functionality of two related checkboxes, Explode Composite and Complex Profile Elements into Parts, and Multi-Skin Complex Geometries checkboxes were previously used to guarantee the preservation of materials of elements with composite structures and complex profiles during IFC export. However, in IFC4, colors must not be assigned to building materials, so for IFC4, this feature was implemented using different methods. Thus, in ARCHICAD 23 or later versions, these two options became merged into a single IFC 2x3 only option, the Material Preservation Mode field, which has three options. Using the Never Explode Elements Preservation Not Guaranteed option, composite structures and complex profiles are not exploded so materials may not be properly preserved in the IFC files saved with the IFC 2x3 schema. With the Explode Only When Necessary to Preserve materials, only those elements with composite structures and complex profiles are exploded, where it is necessary to preserve their materials during IFC export. With the Explode All Elements into Parts Preserve Materials option, all these elements are exploded, so it is guaranteed that they will preserve their materials in the resulting IFC file. Please note that when the split complex building elements into parts checkbox is on, this field is grayed, as it becomes not relevant since the explosion of parts is then controlled by this latter setting. The use legacy geometric methods as in coordination view 1.0 checkbox has been removed since the Coordination View 1.0 Model View definition is no longer included among supported Model View definitions, as seen in the Model View Definitions field of the IFC Translators dialog. The IFC Site Geometry checkbox has also been removed from ARCHICAD 23 on. This geometry is always exported as a BREP. 
the structural openings and holes as separate elements checkbox became an IFC 2x3 only option, since during IFC 4 export openings and holes must always be exported. With these changes, ARCHICAD is capable of exporting IFC files that are fully compliant with the IFC 4 Reference View Model View definition.